Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are fine. Uh, my name is Prasad Patil, and today we are going to learn about a platform called io.adaptu.com. So this is a kind of platform or a uh, an, uh, website application where we are trying to connect the IoT devices with the applications. So before proceeding to, uh, towards it, we need to we need to sign up the account. So here you can do the give the required details and you can create the account. After creating an account, you need to log in. Uh, after login, you can sign in, and after signing in, you will get something like this. okay so you can give the required details and then you can say save settings and then it will ask you the password so once it is done you can go for creation of the dashboard okay so basically a dashboard is a kind of uh, interface uh, which will show some blocks whichever blocks you want for example, if you are doing some, uh, if you want to show the graphical analysis of what is happening within the IoT devices, you can show it onto the board. You can see over here; it's it's uh, shown over here. I will just maximize. This way. Hold on a second. Okay. So these are the blocks. These are different blocks. Okay. So, so first we need to create a dashboard. How can we create a dashboard? So you will get a dashboard tab and after that you can say uh, new dashboard. After clicking a new dashboard, you need to give a required details name, description for, uh, for my project, whatever you want to give and then you can say create. After creating, uh, the, after clicking uh, create button then you can see that my new dashboard has been created uh, with respect to me uh, let me see where is mine so to create a new dashboard we'll click on IO tab and in IO tab we have sub tab called dashboard and after that you can click on dashboard new dashboard or else already one dashboard is there <coughs> but let us give a demo for this dashboard my new dashboard after that we can give anything this any description my dashboard my second dashboard please excuse the spelling is wrong my second dashboard. Oh, oh, oh. I have my dashboard yes. my dashboard second dashboard so we will click on create button the moment I click I'll get this dashboard and then we can say edit so we can edit whatever we want okay now to add the blocks on a dashboard like a progress bar or a button or any kind of uh, uh, graph or uh, for example line graph so how to put those uh, blocks or uh, put those widgets on the dashboard so first we will simply click on the dashboard already Prasad Patil there is one dashboard which is already created you can just see over here so already I have created one dashboard this is gauge and this is button so the moment I turn on or turn off it has to reflect some thing on this counter but still we have not done the coding part so it is not showing so here we have set a minimum value or maximum value to which the message will be displayed 
and um, this is a text that is to be displayed so similarly we are going to create a dashboard so now we need to click on setting to the top right corner and then we will say edit layout so when I say edit layout uh, my mistake my apology instead of saying uh, edit layout we need to click on create new block so the moment the moment I create a new uh, the, uh, the moment I select a new block create new block I need to select any of the gauge uh, uh, any of the block so we are going to select this gauge so we need to give a new feed here already have taken so that's why it is showing that 22 minutes back I had or uh, used these things okay so let us see what okay so after saying that okay we can create and after creating we need to select it the moment I say select we need to go to the next button so in this what should be given you can decide okay so you can say Excel or you can say uh, you can put it as marks also or velocity of a vehicle you can type anything whatever you want velocity okay or you can say temperature you can add a title over here okay so the minimum value will be zero and maximum value will be what it will be so the maximum gauge value is 100 it means what the maximum value that will be displayed here is 100 gauge width will be the width of this line it is 25 pixel okay P pixel px means picture element okay so here we are taking the value as selecting value so we can uh, set the lowest value so lowest value i can set it as 10 it means what on 10 it will show some message to us okay higher highest value for example if i want to set uh, 80 as the highest value and i'll put it here so after that i can show this is the decimal value the number of decimal places to display when the value is a number default to 2.2 okay so basically this decimal places tells about uh, after decimal point how many digits to be uh, displayed okay so after that we can show the icons that we want so if you want to show the icons over here so i can use any icon that we want for example anchor okay you can show anchor uh, this one is the icon so i can use uh, 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 okay just give me some bank okay so bank okay so bank means i will say money right rupees uh, yeah rupees according to the applications you can select okay so after that you can set the value not only as 100 okay you can set it 10,000 also okay you can set it 1 lakh also so depending on that it will show the meter okay so we will select only 100 okay so after that we need to click on create block so the moment i say uh, I, I have clicked the create button i have got this block so after that so the block will be displayed on the dashboard so in order to uh, in order to place at, at a particular position we can go to the settings and edit layout and after that we can click on this and drag and drop to the desired place after that we can say save layout but before that i would like to tell you about few things which we have but let us save let us, first of all let us save here we can edit so whatever we want to do okay so you can go for next step and you can change the required things uh, block title cause max value cause uh, min value cause width cause label whatever you want okay so it can be reflected and it can be saved after that you can update the block 
since we don't desire to change we are not updating the log or else we can say update also because we have not done any changes anyways now we will go to the uh, delete block delete blocks means it will be deleted so now we are going for block info in block info it will have all types it will show the all the properties of the selected block what is what is the type of a block we have gauge name rupee so icon bank height width it is not mentioned over here then max cost value all lower warning uh, value high warning value uh, decimal place and after that this is so now we are seeing this part one feed name so this is a feed name this part is called what feed name and this is api application programming interface uniform resource locator so this is the address and this part is called as what feed name every block will have different feed names that will be used in the uh, programming with, uh, with iot along with adapter so like this you can see the properties of a block and this is the way you can create a block and you can uh, configure the required settings and properties and this is how we can uh, create even the buttons different blocks are there different it can show the progress bars it can have we can show even uh, the what we call a line graph uh, on to this dashboard so these are the things so this is just uh, uh, selecting and dragging of the blocks on the dashboard so that's all about uh, today's class today we have seen the uh, dragging and uh, picking up the blocks and placing it on the uh, dashboard and in the next class we are going to see the practical aspects uh, so that whatever we do the things uh, over here uh, practically or physically the same things uh, the values will be displayed on the blocks of the uh, required uh, the selected blocks on the dashboard i hope you all have understood this uh, and i wish you the best thank you uh, please uh, press the like button and subscribe this channel thank you and have a good day thank you